everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival, it's 2023 BMW X7 xDrive 40i LCI in skyscraper grey metallic and this is our first 2023 X7 delivery as well. Alright, so this is our first sold X7 LCI. This is a skyscraper grey metallic and this is the xDrive 40i. This is not the M60, which I showed in my other video. And I will be making a uh, follow-up video for that one as well once uh, uh, the car is cleaned up. And I just wanted to come over here and show you. We have BMW LEDs. Let me just get them back on for you. Right, just like that. Those are the low beams and high beams down there. So essentially the top lights are your daytime running lights. We have this huge one-piece kidney grill, which looks amazing. Look at the radar puck at the bottom. That's where the front plate bracket will go if you do have one in your market. And overall, the front design for some of you, I know you're still sitting on the fence, but just like G80, wait till you see it in person and I think your opinion may change one way or another. Now, on the side here, I just wanna show you this car has air suspension, so I do have it aired out right now, which I think looks pretty awesome. And if we look down here, these are the 22 inch double spoke 755 M wheels in black with the black M Sport brakes. I think that looks really awesome. We've got the same type of cutout design that we had on the previous pre-LCI uh, X7 that goes across the bottom of the vehicle like so. We've got body colored side mirrors on here, turn signals integrated, uh, and we've got black roof rails, the dual sunroof, so we've got the sunroof for the third row as well. The black window surrounds look really good. And let's go to the back of the vehicle so we can take a look at these new style taillights here. So I like that they've sculpted them, they're now three dimensional. They've got this cool pattern on the side which is becoming uh, a little bit of a part of BMW's new design language. Uh, they have this chrome strip going across here that is thinner, but it's encased in a black housing, which wasn't like that before. X7, xDrive 40i. We have regular BMW uh, Rondel, still looks good. And at the bottom, we've got the freeform exhaust with one tip on either side. The M60 uh, had the two tips, so that's a little bit different. Uh, this car looks really good. Let's take a look at what's inside of it. So right from the back here, I'm just gonna kick my foot underneath the car. And we will have this open up, so the X7 still has the split tailgate, still has some buttons up here to close, close and lock. We also have this button here, so it is already aired out, so I can't lower it any further by pressing that, but if I press this, it will lower the lower tailgate portion. Uh, I've got to put these mats in still, but uh, we have this little cargo cover that can come up. All four of the seating controls here, I'm not going to necessarily have time to show all of this today, but uh, folding the second row, folding the third row, uh, or lifting them up, and then we have maximum vehicle occupancy, maximum storage space, there's a little storage co uh, compartment in here, and underneath here we'll find, I'm sure, there's a cargo cover underneath here, with some uh, carpeted mats, some headrest pillows for the third row, 12 volt plug on this side, we've got a little uh, area in here as well, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And inside we have the black Alcantara headliner. The third row do have the uh, heated seats uh, uh, on the ceiling there, as well as their sunshade is open in the back. Uh, you can put the third row down and have this and that put in, but this video is more to highlight the LCI differences. I have some other X7 videos that go through all the configurations a little bit more in depth, and I'll do another video of the other M60i that we have before it uh, gets delivered to somebody. So I'm just going to kick my foot underneath here one more time, and uh, we're, we're gonna have that closed for us, just because I like being fancy. All right, so if I approach from the rear passenger side, let me just open up that door. And down here, take a look at that M door sill. We have carbon fiber interior trim. Uh, because we are on iDrive 8, we do have a couple of different choices for um, ambient lighting color choices. This design has changed. That's a little bit different than the last one. So you still have the same things here, accessory port, USB type C, but this looks a little bit different than I remember seeing it before. Uh, we have some pockets on the back of the seats. 
We've got some vents on the back of the center console, rear climate controls with heated seats for the two captain's chairs, cup holders, two USB Type-C charging ports, and a 12-volt plug down there. We've got some armrests on either side. Uh, we've got also at the top here, this looks like a Sky Lounge uh, panoramic sunroof, which is awesome, so the ambient light goes into there as well. We have a switch over here. Oh, this one is like this. And so that will allow the seat to move into the forward position. And it looks like, okay, so we can get into the back here. We have the power controls on either side uh, so that we can put the third row up and down. They've got their own cup holders back here and down there, there still should be a USB type C and a static tie down area. We have some stirrups right here for the seat belts in case you do have the third row uh, folded down. And this is the, the port for the uh, cargo cover to go in if you are going to utilize the cargo cover with the third row seating down. And let me just put this back into position. And if it's like any other BMW, um, I'm sure, it will slide back into the position so that we can get it going. All right, entering from the passenger side, M door sill, full suite of power controls. Now these are the black Sensafin seats. Uh, I've yet to see these until today, so that's what that looks like. And inside of here, Harvin Carden uh, sound system, massage chairs for the passenger, memory buttons. There's the carbon fiber dash with that beautiful iDrive 8 curved display. But look at this. We've got this interesting design here. It says X7. On the M60, it says uh, an M over here, which that's a little bit different. Seeing a lot more of this pattern going around in our vehicles for this generation, which is really awesome. And in the center console here, so we've got that new style vent control that we saw in the new 7 series. And if we get down here, if I press that, so uh, we have communication pad, heated and cooled cup holders, 12 volt plug. There's a the new crystal shifter that looks a little bit different than the last time. Uh, traction control button, park assist button, all three of your modes, hill descent control, auto hold, uh, electronic parking brake. We have uh, reverse neutral, drive, sport shift, park, uh, air suspension adjustment, and your crystal eye drive controller. If I lift this up, should be a USB type C charging port in there somewhere. Uh, yep, I see it down there. And also, uh, the armrest will heat with the heated seats in this vehicle as it is an X7. And we have universal remote control, and we've got some sunshade controls here as well that control the rear sunshade as well as the main sunshade up here. So let me go to the driver door next. All right, so approaching from the driver's side, so these are the buttons to control the rear sunshades in the door just like so. That's this button right here. This is to make it so only the driver can control the windows, all four window controls, left or right, uh, how to adjust the mirror, how to fold it in. This is to open or close the hatch. Access to the uh, third row by moving the second row seats forward or back, right? So that's good. We also have a massage chair, and this is so that the driver's seat controls can control the passenger seat, which is really good. Now take a look at this. So, lighting control is the same. Storage compartment's the same. Steering wheel is the same, but the function is a little bit different here because this now allows you to adjust your view for your dash here as well as your head up display. So let me just jump in for a moment, close the door, and let me just start the car. So that's what it's going to look like. We do have the head up display on there as well, but I can press this button here and it will allow me to change how my view looks, what content is there, uh, and then I can go to the right and then I can choose the Sorry, if it's a little bit dark I can choose the layout here if I want it a little bit wider or closer or if I want it just on one side I personally like the two closer ones uh, And then on the head-up display So that one is just showing the regular uh, speed speed limit, but I can also have a direction of travel showing there uh, assisted driving view and there's also a support view as well for uh, driver assistance and such and there's also a reduced view. I think I, I like this one the best and Look at iDrive 8 in here. This is awesome. iDrive 8. I love these new controls and Overall, I mean, I think this definitely updates the feeling of this car and uh, It does make the old one look a little bit dated But uh, there's still some people who are on the fence of this design as well. So we'll see how that goes Let's take a look at what is under the hood
So this is the newly designed B58 3 liter inline 6 twin power turbo with the 48 volt mild hybrid. So it produces 375 horsepower and 383 foot pounds of torque and in sprint mode with the electric boost it can also do 398 foot pounds of torque. We also have uh, washer fluid, positive battery terminal and negative battery terminals that post just over there. This looks very familiar, but everything else looks very different. All right, so I'm just gonna walk around the car one more time so you guys can get a good chance to see what this vehicle looks like. I think it looks really good in Skyscraper Gray. Uh, so far, I've only seen it in Skyscraper and Black Sapphire, but overall, I really like the look of this car. You guys let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, this car looks awesome. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW X7 xDrive 40i LCI in Skyscraper Gray Metallic. This is our first delivery of this vehicle, so congratulations to the new owner. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.